Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about right of way and stopping when in doubt on a road test. Now, just before we get started here, be sure to hit that subscribe button way over about there. That way you'll get access to all of the great information as I get it available for you. For those of you working towards passing a road test or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Now, one of the things that I tell students on road tests in terms of right of way, even though you have the right of way doesn't mean that you can go because the right of way is always given. It's never taken. So if another vehicle is going to push through and go forward, do not go because you're going to risk a crash. As well, remember, you can be right or you can be dead right. Because if you go because you think that you have the right of way and the other vehicle should uh, give way to you, they may or may not. And remember, uh, failing to give the right of way to other traffic on the roadway is one of the top reasons for crashes. So. It's better to stop, wait, let the other traffic proceed, the other road user go, and then proceed. And finally, I caught this on dash cam here at this intersection behind me. Uh, a, there are other road users there, and I just simply stopped and waited. Even though when I came up to the intersection, as you'll see in the footage here, I had the green light, I could have gone, but there was a vehicle around the corner that had stopped and pulled up on the sidewalk. There was a pedestrian and there was a vehicle in the intersection making a left-hand turn. All of that created a complex traffic situation where I simply stopped and I waited and I figured out what the other road users were doing before I proceeded. And I got eye contact with the pedestrian on the side of the road before I proceeded around the corner on the right-hand turn. So without further ado, let's go to that footage. And now we're gonna turn right at the next intersection here and you can see the solid line. Now, you cannot cross into the bicycle lane, so you gotta go right up to the corner. And of course, this guy's pulling up onto the sidewalk here. And I just waved that guy on because he was sort of sitting in the intersection and the light was going yellow to, to red. And I've got a pedestrian here, and I don't know whether the pedestrian's going or not. No. Okay, and that's what you do. If you're not sure, and as you saw, I waited right till I got to the intersection. You almost have to do a 90 degree turn there to not deviate into the bicycle lane because of that solid white line, you cannot deviate into that bicycle lane. And as, you, as I saw there, I wasn't sure what other people were doing, so you saw that I just stopped and I waited, and that's what you have to do for the purposes of a road test. If you were the least bit unsure what other road users are doing, just stop and wait for them to clear or for them to get eye contact with you to ensure that you're going to be safe, that you're not going to go around there and that pedestrian is going to step out. As soon as she got eye contact with me and sort of nodded that I could go, then I proceeded around the intersection as well. The other guy that was turning, he was already sort of committed. His vehicle was turned slightly, so I didn't turn in front of him because it's a defensive move on my part that I was waiting to see what that driver was going to do, and that's what happened. Quick review of right of way on a road test. If you're in the least bit of doubt in any traffic situation, particularly at complex intersections like this one behind me here, simply stop, wait for the other road users to clear the intersection, and then proceed. And make sure that if there's a pedestrian or cyclist or some other road user on a scooter or whatnot, that you get eye contact with them. Uh, appropriate hand gestures, don't tell them the number one. And after you're certain that you have the right of way, that everybody else has given you the right of way, then you can go. Because remember, you can be right or you can be dead right. And as well, the right of way is always given. It is not taken. If you take the right of way and expect other road users to give you the right of way, you're gonna be in a very high risk situation where you could be in a crash, be involved in a crash because failing to give the right of way or failing to yield is one of the top reasons for crashes. Questions for my smart drivers. Have you been in a situation where other road users have failed to give the right of way and you've stopped and therefore acted defensively and everything turned out all right. Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers working towards their license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Lots of great information here. As well, head over to the uh, Smart Drive Test website great information over there and tremendous online courses that you can purchase. All of the courses are guaranteed, 30-day money-back guarantee, 
pass your road test first time. As well, this summer we're bringing out Air Brakes Explained Simply. It's a new air brake manual that uh, updates the 40-year-old air brake manuals currently in circulation. As well, there's 100 multiple choice uh, questions that you will be asked on both a practical and a theory exam. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.